Before we move on, I want to talk to you about some very important points to take note of whenever you're working with plugins. It is very important that you understand best practices with regards to using plugins because plugins are usually the weakest link in any WordPress security system. What this means is that if a hacker or cyber criminal tries to or wants to attack your WordPress website, he will typically try to attack using the plugins that you have installed on your WordPress website. So it's a very, very important that you know how to manage your plugins. The very first important point to remember is less is more, use fewer plugins. And what I mean by this is the fewer plugins you have on your WordPress website, the better for your WordPress website because the more plugins you have means you require more maintenance, your website would require more uh, updates and so on and so forth. So do not install plugins just for the fun of it, only install plugins that are essential to the uh, functionality of your website. The second important point is to use lighter plugins and what I mean by this is Let's say, for example, you wanted to use a plugin that allows you to create slides. Without a doubt, you would have so many plugins that will provide that function. However, you would also have other plugins that would offer the ability to create slides, but would also, in addition, offer the ability to create galleries and other things like that. You typically want to stay away from such plugins. Only use plugins that offer multiple capabilities if and only if you want to use all those capabilities, okay? So keep things simple. If you want to install, if you want, you're looking for a plugin that offers you the ability to create slides, then install a plugin that offers, that only offers you the ability to create slides. Don't install a plugin that, in addition to being able to create slides, also gives you the ability to create galleries as well. If you're not looking to create galleries, okay? So only install plugins that provide the specific function that you're looking for. The next thing to remember is to ensure com uh, compatibility and maintenance. And what I mean by this is whenever you're trying to install a plugin, you would always see the whether or not the plugin has been tested with your current version of WordPress. And more importantly, you would also see the last time the plugin was updated. We will talk a little bit more about this in the very next video, so watch that video to understand a little bit better of what I'm trying to explain here. The last point to remember is to run regular updates. Always update your plugins. Always make sure that your plugins are updated. Updated plugins run fewer risks and are less susceptible to be attacked or compromised by cyber criminals and hackers. So always ensure that your plugins are up to date. So these are the four main things to remember whenever you're working with plugins. Join me in the next class where I will show you how to check for compatibility, how to check a plugin's compatibility with your current version of WordPress. Thank you for watching.